Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a mini food haul from Grocery Outlet along with a dinner idea or a lunch idea. This is barbecue vegan pulled pork sandwiches on pretzel bun made from some things I got from the haul. So let's go ahead and get into it. Remember to like and subscribe for more and thank you for watching. Alright, so I just got back from Grocery Outlet. I didn't do the whole vlogging in the store thing this time. I really was just grabbing a few things uh, for dinner and I had some pretty good finds. Let's see if I can see if it tells me how much I saved. You know how they tell you in Grocery, um, did I say Grocery Outlet? Yeah, Grocery Outlet. Sometimes I call it Grocery Warehouse. Um... I don't see where it says, oh, it says I saved $70.95 and I spent $45.30. So anywho, I got some of these and these were, I want to say three, yeah, these were $3.99 and anytime I see some kind of ice pops or fruit pops, for the kids with no sugar added. I try and stock up on them. Um, as you guys know, we're moving, so I couldn't get too many of them. Uh, so I got, just got two packs, but I love these, and they were $3.99. I think the regular price on these are about $9.99 or $10.99. Just grab some baby kale. This is like $2 and something in there. Not a huge deal, but a pretty good deal, and it's very fresh. They're producing our local uh, grocery outlet is pretty darn fresh. I got a couple of watermelon waters with strawberry. These were about a dollar fifty. Usually in the store they're like three fifty, um, so that's a really good deal. Just some so delicious cheddar. This was about two ninety nine, or it was two ninety nine. It's usually four ninety nine. I got these. These were two for a dollar, and um, my daughter has started not liking the soft ones, the big soft ones. So I'm glad I saw these crunchy ones. They had the big soft ones there as well, but um, she likes these crunchy ones. So I grabbed, they were two for a dollar, and I grabbed four of them. If I was really, really stocking up, I would have, you know, really went in and got a ton, but that'll do for now these were not a like super deep buy I have seen them where they're two for a dollar before this time they were just a dollar each but that's still very good for these organic peanut butter cups from Justin's so oh and I saw this I had never seen there before um, I get the jams again with no added sugars just fruit sweeteners for my daughter she likes jam and this is fruit and maple and she loves maple too so I thought this would be perfect for her I'll have her taste it and see what she thinks but that's the ingredients first two ingredients strawberries and maple very nice what's up sir I'm just showing what I got at the grocery outlet of course you're looking at those. Hey, will you put these in the freezer for me? So they can freeze up? Since you ate my other popsicle. Can you put that in for me? Thank you. Okay, so then this is, I grabbed this. I had never seen, we've used Morningstar before. And I'm glad they are now, I think all of their products are eventually going to be vegan. They've been vegetarian for a long time but they've started transitioning their products to vegan and I've never seen this veggie pulled pork from them. I thought that was interesting. Here's the ingredients on them. Nice ingredients too. So I think we're gonna have this for dinner. We're gonna have this with some barbecue sauce. I'll make a barbecue sauce and have it on these but I'm gonna show those in a minute. That was my greatest deal. Then I just got a couple of waters. I'm doing my gallon water challenge um, so uh, per day. So I like to have a few flavored waters. These were two for a dollar. Pretty good deal. 
And then these are, don't taste the greatest. My daughter loves them. I mean, they taste like a box mac and cheese. They're not nasty or anything. But they are organic, and these were 99 cents each. Got two of those. Just some Zaps Voodoo Chips. These are my faves. I don't know if this was a great deal. They were a dollar or something, but I love them, so grabbed a bag of those. So anyways, this was my greatest um, find. These were 99 cents. These are usually, I should look at my receipt, I want to say like four something each. I'll try and look, but um, uh, let's see, let's see. Bread, grocery. Anyways, if I find the price, I know I'll find the price on my um, receipt and then I'll put it on the screen. But they were 99 cents, so I got all the ones they had. They only had three left. Because you can put them in the freezer. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll use one tonight for dinner. Like I said. With this. And then probably some of this on it. And kale salad. And then the other two can go in the freezer. Anywho, just wanted to show that. Little grocery outlet haul. So I'm going to be making some barbecue pulled pork sandwiches on pretzel buns. This is how it looks. In here is about a tablespoon of coconut oil. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pop all of this in there. Try and toss it to get the coconut oil incorporated on there. If I had some fresh garlic, that would be in here right now, but I don't. So I'm going to be using garlic powder. Also, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know my kids don't like fresh onion. So you can put that in here now, but um, I'm going to be using onion uh, granules as I usually do. I browned it out quite a bit. I really like my barbecue, you know, dark brown crispies on it. So I've really crisped it up. And now I'm going to go ahead and get started with making the barbecue sauce right here in the pan. I don't want to do it separate and then pour it in. I'm just going to make it right in here. A couple tablespoons of ketchup. I'm putting a little bit of crystal with that. Just a pinch of black pepper. Like I said, I don't have garlic, so I'm using powdered garlic. And then some onion granules. A little bit of smoke seasoning. Let me get that in and then I'll add the rest. Added in about a half a cup of water. A little molasses now I will finish the rest of the barbecue seasoning which is going to be a little bit of brown mustard a little bit of seasoning salt And then a little bit of mushroom seasoning, and that's it. And there you have it. We've got some cold barbecue pork, vegan of course. Alrighty, so now I'm going to assemble my barbecue pulled pork, vegan pork sandwich. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my pretzel bun. Not a little bit, actually a lot of it. <laughs> A little 
little cheese on top. Or again, a lot of cheese on top. <laughs> a little bit of lettuce. This is like a lettuce mix with carrots and all that good stuff. You can put a slaw or shredded lettuce or whatever you want to put. I'm putting a little bit of this lettuce on top. And that's it. There she goes.